Hello, Westford. A boy was injured by a car on July 31st. Forge Beach and its playground will be getting a makeover soon, and Paul's Diner has changed hands. I'm Nancy Burns, a Westford Cat board member and guest host for this week's program. Westford Cat News is next. get started, Westford, I'd like to remind you to subscribe to our free daily newsletter with all the latest Westford news delivered to your inbox. Just visit westfordcatnews.org and click on the red subscribe button in the upper right-hand corner. The school committee has approved increases to school administrative salaries, 25 in all, staffing nine public schools and educating more than 5,000 students. The proposed salaries for the current fiscal year would total $2.979 million. That number includes Superintendent Bill Olson's salary of $204,485. Individual salary increases would range from 3 to 12 percent if approved. Westford Cat News Director Joyce Polino Crane researched salaries for similar positions in three communities, Chelmsford, Natick and Wellesley, and learned that Westford's proposed administrative salaries are in line. Natick and Wellesley are considered by the Department of Elementary and Secondary Education to have school districts comparable to Westford's. In May 2017, Westford voters approved a permanent tax hike of $1.6 million over three years to give the teachers a 6% salary increase. Olson said funding for administrative salaries will not come out of that money. He said the increases will be funded by a compensation reserve account. An unidentified 15-year-old boy riding his bicycle along Plain Road was seriously injured by a motorist on July 31 at 8.50 p.m. The driver stayed in the scene and called 911. The boy was taken to Lowell General Hospital by the Westford Fire Department and then airlifted by helicopter to Tufts Medical Center. Police Captain Ron Poloska said the accident occurred at the intersection of Plain and Polly Roads. And now for our feature of the week. A new playground is in store for Forge Village thanks to a $100,000 state appropriation that has been approved by legislators. State Representative James Arciero, a Forge Village resident, announced on July 19 that the fiscal 2019 state budget included funding for a new playground and other improvements at Forge Beach. The governor vetoed the funds last week, but legislators overrode the veto on July 27. Arciero said the funds will be released through the Department of Conservation and Recreation and will also cover improvements to the beach. The process typically takes a few weeks, he added. Arciero said he was very determined to make it a beautiful beach area for Forge Village residents. Central Massachusetts Mosquito Control has issued a notice to residents that it will be spraying in Westford on nine dates in August, depending on the weather. Residents can also request service by calling 508-393-3055 between 7 a.m. and 3.30 p.m. Monday through Friday. You can also request service through the project's website. To schedule an appointment or to find more information, visit cmmcp.org. Now for our BizBuzz story this week. After 18 years under Paul Doty's ownership, Paul's Diner now belongs to Sal Buonacor of Westford, who purchased the restaurant in June. The two were friends before Buonacor began asking Doty for advice on fulfilling a longtime dream, getting into the restaurant business. Buonacor had been a banker for 25 years prior to taking over the diner. What's in Doty's future? Travel and family time. But don't expect to see a name change in the diner's sign. Buonacor said it will always be Paul's Diner. Vandals smashed windows on two cars and made off with the purses inside on Saturday, July 28. This is not uncommon in Westford, according to Westford Captain Ron Poloskis. Businesses in town, such as Crunch Fitness and One Stop Fun, have also dealt with car vandalism in the past. 
Poloskas advised motorists to exercise street smarts while parking their cars, making sure that valuables are either with them or locked away and out of sight in their cars. He also said that suspects target purses that are usually left in vehicles if they are visible from the exterior of the vehicle. The best practice is to not leave any valuables in the car while parked in any parking lot in town. If you must leave something in your vehicle, hide it in the trunk. Just a heads up for drivers, the highway department will be paving six roads over the next several weeks. They are Main Street, Boston Road, Lincoln Street, Villanova Drive, Sawmill Drive, and Elmeria Circle. Bryn, an easygoing pit bull mix, is available now for adoption at the Lowell Humane Society. Here's Patty Stocker with more. Roger Logeman is just one of the many caring and capable volunteers that help keep the Lowell Humane Society running smoothly. Here he is with Bryn, a chill eight-year-old pit bull mix that's looking for her forever home. Bryn is a eight-year-old pit bull mix, uh, very mellow. When she came in uh, about the 1st of July, um, she had a little limp in one of her back legs, but that seems to have cleared up. She's really a very easy going dog, very easy to walk. She would, uh, she would do well in a home with older kids and uh, even dog savvy cats would be okay. She will not be good with other dogs, especially small dogs, that would be a problem for her. She's a bit dog reactive, but she's fine with, uh, uh, like I said, dog savvy cats and older kids. This is a dog that'll spend a lot of time laying around the house, enjoys her walks, but she's really very mellow, even in the kennel. She spends a lot of time just taking it easy. Nothing ever gets her too excited. Been one of the favorites here at the kennel. Everybody loves walking Bryn and dealing with her because she's such an easy dog to handle. If you'd like to learn more about Bryn or any of the other pets looking for a new home at the Lowell Humane Society, or if you'd like to volunteer, donate, foster a pet, or fill their wish list, visit their website at LowellHumaneSociety.org. They're located at 951 Broadway Street in Lowell. Call 978-452-7781. You can also find them on Facebook. For Westford Cat, I'm Patty Stalker. Here's Rekha Sharma with another health tip. Hi everyone, I'm Rekha Sharma, your Ayurveda practitioner, back with a new health tip for Westfit Cat News. Today I'm going to talk about juniper essential oil. It is also known as the mover of the fluids as it removes the toxins and excessive fluids. It is a natural antiseptic. It helps to reduce swelling in joints, rheumatism, sciatica, and chest congestion. It is a natural diuretic and energizer. It alleviates stress and reduces muscle tension. Juniper oil also helps to open the third eye, that is the crown chakra, and enhances divinity. Juniper oil, three to five drops, can be mixed in creams, lavender oil, sandalwood oil, for massaging. It can also be used in aromatherapy, to reduce stress. If you have any allergies, please contact your PCP before using or applying. I'll be back with a new health tip. Bye for now. The weather's been pretty good this summer so far. Let's see what weather.com is forecasting for the coming week. Here's Westford Cat Marketing Outreach Director Sarah Fletcher with suggestions for things to do in the area. Thanks, Nancy. The J.V. Fletcher Library is presenting an end of summer reading bash with the Toe Jam Puppet Band on Thursday, August 9th at 1.30 p.m. This high energy outdoor show will keep you laughing. Bring a blanket and your dancing shoes. 
cake will be served at 1.30 p.m. and the performance begins at 2. The drop-in program is for all ages. Rain moves the performance inside the library. Visit westfordlibrary.org for more information. The Westford Rotary Club's Blues and Brews Festival has moved. Coming up on Saturday, August 11th, the 17th annual Blues Concert and Brews Tasting will take place at the JFK Plaza, 50 Arcand Drive in Lowell, Mass, from 2 to 8 p.m. Four great performances, 50 craft brews, and a variety of vendors bring you a fabulous outdoor event with access to public transportation and easy parking. General admission and premium seating tickets are available. Gates open at 1.30. Find out more at bluesandbrewsrotary.org. All proceeds from the festival go to charity. Also on Saturday, August 11th, is an art walk in Concord Center on Main Street from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Stroll the pop-up galleries, meet the artists, and participate in hands-on events. Then stick around that night for Little Women, Sister Stories, a dance recital performed by Turning Key Dance in conjunction with The Orchard House. The event celebrates the 150th anniversary of Little Women, the book by Louisa May Alcott. The event takes place at the Performing Arts Center, 51 Walden Street. Tickets are $10 for individuals and $30 for families. Get more information on both events and links to make ticket purchases by visiting ConcordChamberOfCommerce.org. I'm Sarah Fletcher, Marketing Outreach Manager at Westford Cat. Back to you, Nancy. That's it for now, Westford. We leave you with images of some of our featured adoptable pets at the Lowell Humane Society who have since found homes.